Hi children, welcome back online learning program of MJ High School. How are you? Okay, um, you are fine. Okay, good. In the last class, we discussed how to make a question. We studied auxiliary verbs, WH questions, personal pronouns. Using these words, we have framed questions. How are you? What is your name? Who are you? When you will come here? What are you playing? What are you doing? Etc. Today, we are going to learn conditional clause. If, if clause. How to use if clause in English sentence? We will use if clause as a condition. We will put forward a condition in front of others. If you come with me, I can help you. If you study well, you will pass. Start with if a sentence is known as condition. Next sentence is main clause. We have to learn if clause for examination. From 8th standard, we have to learn if clause for examination. We want to complete a sentence using main clause. Just I can give an example to you. If you play cricket, you will win the game. Here, we used a sentence starting with if, if plus subjective plus v1. Sometimes it may be vs. vs means s form of the verb. We can add s with the base form of the verb. It's known as s form of the verbs. Example, loves goes, plays, tells, etc. Okay, once more, I can say the formula of if clause, if plus subjective plus v1 or vs, main clause, subjective plus will or shall, or can or may plus v1. This condition clause is known as possible condition. There are four types of conditions based on if clause. First one, zero condition. Next, possible condition. Next, probable. The last one, impossible condition. We can avoid zero condition because we have to learn three condition for the examination. The first condition is possible condition. Formula of possible condition is if plus subject plus V1 or Vs. Vs means S form of the verb. We can add S with the base verb. Example, goes, takes, plays, lives, tells, etc. Once more, I can say the formula of the first condition, possible condition. If plus, subject plus, V1 or 
vs next subjective plus will or shall or can or may plus v1 example if you come with me i will tell the truth if you go there you can take it if you study well you will pass if she says to me i will help her can you get an idea clear it is known as possible condition next we want to study probable condition if plus subjective plus v2 plus next subjective plus would or should or could or might plus v1 example if you studied well you would pass if you told me i would help you if she loved me i would like her can you get an idea okay the last condition is impossible condition this condition the time is over we can't do anything example if i had played the cricket we would have won the game let us go to formula if plus subjective plus had plus with next subjective plus would or should or could or might plus have plus v3 can you get an idea okay i can say once more it is very easy to learn sometimes you can feel that it is very tough now i can say very easily already i said to you that the rules and conditions of if clause next we can study very easily if plus subjective plus v1 or vs next subjective plus will plus v1 listen up next one if plus subject plus v2 next subject plus would plus v1 it is enough the third one if plus subject plus had plus v3 next subject plus would plus have plus v3 it is enough can you get an idea this work is but one thing we can remember that in the last class we studied the auxiliary verbs i have already said to you that what are the b form of the verbs is yes yes am are these are present form the past form of the is am a was were am i right next have has the past forms had next auxiliary verbs do does past form did they are known as 
primary auxiliary screen. Sometime we can see main verb in a sentence. If so, auxiliary verb act the role of main verbs. Example, I am a child. We can see here auxiliary verb am. Am acts the role of main verb. So, we can take am as a present form. When it will come to if clause, if plus subjective plus V1. If I am a child, if plus subjective plus V1, what am? If I am a child, I will play. Am I right? You can take am as a B1. Okay, next. She is a doctor. If she is a doctor, you can take is as a S form of the verb. She will consult me. Can you get an idea? Next example. I was a child. Was is considered as a past form of the verb. V2. If I was a child, I would play. Can you get an idea? Next example. I had a pen. Here, had is considered as a past form. If I had a pen, I would write. Can you get an idea? Sometime, like these questions will be asked in the examination. It is very easy. Do you have any doubt? Tell me. Clear? Let us bind up the class. Thank you very much.